My friends, we are asked today to contemplate Monday, the December 14th, in the Gospel of Matthew of the day. And Matthew writes, When Jesus came into the temple area, the chief priests and elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? And Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd. For they all regard John as a prophet. So they sent to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. Bishop Bob Barron has given us this reflection. Friends, in today's gospel, the chief priests and elders questioned Jesus. By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? The Greek word for authority is most enlightening, exousia. It means literally from the beginning of. Jesus speaks about the very exousia of God, and therefore his words affect what they say. He says, Lazarus come forth, and the dead man comes out of the tomb. He rebukes the wind and says to the sea, Be still, and there is calm. The night before he dies, he takes bread and says, This is my body. And, and what he says is, Friend, this is the authority of the church. If we are simply the guardians of one interesting philosophical perspective among many, then we are powerless. If we rely on our own cleverness and augmentation or argumentation, then we will fail. Our power comes, and this remains a great mystery, only when we speak with the authority of Jesus Christ. And the bishop asks us to reflect. How and why does Christ pass his authority to the church? When you think about it, the apostles are witnesses to the resurrection, and our faith depends on their witness. Because they witnessed the resurrection, their lives were completely turned around. And it's because of their faith that we believe ourselves. They have shown us as witnesses. And the descendants of the Apostles are our bishops. Christ has established this as his authority for our day. Bishops are only human. They make mistakes. There are scandals in the church. But Christ's church remains as the authority to help us to believe, to sort out what is good and what is bad, what is, what is authoritative and what is heretical, and it's something that we should all be conscious of. And so we thank God that we have this authority to, to, to rely on. We need the church to teach, testify to the truth of what Jesus came to re bring us, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus with full authority and truthfulness. Let us all be members of our church and thank God that we have this authority to help us. God bless you.